nothing hard about it. Now I started lifting three months ago and I have to deduct my own taxes and keep track of the gas and you know and I, I'm doing it but I don't know what I'm doing you know. Um, so are you paying your taxes quarterly? I don't know what I'm doing I'm just taking out a 33 every time I get paid every week I take out 33% and I'm stashing it. Cell phone is my what? Business expense. A business that's expense. That's your way of communicating. The, yes, it is. That's your way of, of your livelihood for this this job. Right. So let's say your cell phone is a hundred dollars a month, hundred times twelve, twelve hundred. Mm -hmm. Your cell phone expense is twelve hundred dollars. So after you actually do your expenses, you're gonna do any car maintenance. So let's say every three months you get your oil change. That's seventy dollars. Yeah. All right. So you have you know I would. I bought four new tires. That's a business expense. I bought. New spark plugs. That's a business expense. Yeah. Um, whatever you buy, like I know in Dallas, the Lyft drivers have like a case of water in the car because it's probably so in Dallas. But that's a business <laughs> expense. Sure. So um, let's say if you had your your clothes pressed because you want to look nice, that's a business expense. Why? So by the time that you I bought your the receipt, charger cables. That's a business expense. Wow. Okay. So you're just writing on your receipt, you know, business expense. So okay. you're gonna get a ten ninety nine. Um, TurboTax, in my opinion, is the most easiest tax company. So it may be $89, $99. Um, you're going to file a service level to uh, business owner or what have you. And they're going to ask you, do you have a 1099? You say, yes, you put in your 1099 number. And they say, okay, we're going to walk you through your expenses. Did you have any car expenses for this job? Did you have any? And they'll, they'll ask you, and then at the end, you'll able to put in miscellaneous expenses for the job okay so by the time you do that your tax rate may be down to maybe 17 10 percent wow if not at all so i mean not to get like political but you remember when the, um it was said that donald trump didn't pay any taxes yeah that's because he knows how to write stuff off right so, that's accountants yes yeah. so i mean i can't fault him if he knows how to write stuff it's off. the law it yeah so, That's why rich people pay no taxes because right. they can afford the accountants that know all the it, the tax laws exactly. Yeah. So um, even when you get like even if you donate once a year to Salvation Army, they give you a receipt and you put a value on that and you say, okay, I've donated seven hundred fifty dollars worth of stuff. There's a part of your taxes that say donation. If you donate your time at church, um, how much of, you donate that? If you pay tithes and offerings. Wow. By the time you're finished with your taxes, that 33% um, yeah. probably is going to be 10 or none at all. That's awesome, guys. So come out at maybe net zero. So that 33% that you put in the savings account, now you can just keep it there. Yeah. And just continue to earn interest on it. And since you're a state employee, I hope you're banking with a credit union, not a bank. I, um, I, I have both. Okay. Do most of your banking with your credit union. Credit okay. unions are in business to serve us shareholders. Yeah. Banks are in business to make a profit. Right. So. Yeah, my credit, my credit, uh, credit checking account with. I, I hate to say it, but with Chase. Yeah. It, yeah, can, they're the worst. of the worst. Yeah. Move it over. Um, I have a, I have a because my mom used to be a professor at Southern Illinois, so uh -huh. I have a credit union account. I told you I'm a state worker. I am with Credit Union One, yep. so I should move my checking over everything to them. over to them. Yep. All right, and then I'll start a instead of keeping a buttload of cash yes, stashed, put, them, yes, put, put it, it in an interest-bearing account. Yep, with your credit union. Yep. Well, I'm glad I 
big chip tonight. That's what I think. So for our personal financial literacy curriculum, uh, my school district, we adopted the Dave Ramsey curriculum. I listen to him on the radio. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the steps. I'm, this is why I'm lifting. I'm trying to get my out of debt. Yeah. Um, once you, once you uh, open up Credit Union, if you have any credit cards. Just you, one. So you could um, move your credit card over. My credit card is with the credit union. Good. Because then you have a lower interest rate. The only thing I don't do with the credit union is my checking account, which makes absolutely no sense. Well, and if you're a state employee, your car insurance is what? Through Liberty Mutual, Nationwide, Geico? What? Because those are your car insurance. Oh, no, I did that on my own. I didn't know I could... State employees got something special. If I'm not... Geico is a government... Because that's what Geico is the acronym stands for. Government Employee Insurance Company. Oh, what? I did not know that. Yeah, Geico... Liberty Mutual, I forgot the third one, but those are your um, government insurance company, government employees. Where do I go to learn this stuff besides picking up somebody like you then? Uh, Dave Ramsey will talk about it. He doesn't He doesn't believe in credit because he says if you're living debt free, you have the cash to pay for it. Yes. Uh -huh. so, uh, but he, he talks about it. He'll tell people, he'll give people pointers. You know, he'll say who you work for and then he'll say, okay, like he, you know, you've heard him talk about banks and credit unions. for over 30 years. Yeah, so. I don't remember my right. orientation. It could have been in one or out the other. It was. I was 19. I didn't care. And some some libraries, some churches are starting to do some personal financial literacy courses. Well, that's, that, thank you for that information. You really made my night. So go get TurboTax, pay the $100 and get TurboTax. But you have a credit union, so I'm pretty sure you'll get TurboTax a little cheaper than your credit union, but yes. Go to credit union and ask them to get TurboTax? Um, when you log in, so yeah, yeah, ask them, um, do I get a discount on, because SIU gives me a discount on TurboTax. <laughs> yeah, where it might be 99 and with my um, SIU, it might be 89 79 Wow. Boy. Small, very small airport, huh? Yes. But, yeah, you, you, the security is a breeze, so you'll have a lot of free time. What time's your flight? Six? Yes. Yeah, you're going to be sitting around for a while. Is, um, you said gate four, but can I just I walk in anywhere? Yeah, you can go in. And, do you want gate four? Or is this, what is this? This is B, but I can find gate four. It's not small. It's What's not your big. airline? Uh, United. That's United. Okay. Let me get you in front of the opening here. Good luck to you. Yes, um, I've been teaching personal financial literacy since 2006. My my bachelor's degree is in business, and yeah. then my master's degree is in um, teaching and learning. So. Awesome. Well, I appreciate your information. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice trip. Thank you.